Well, tell me along the way of this musical marriage, what was it like coming back together now? Was it just like old times? Did it take a minute to get reacquainted? Were you different as artists, as producers, songwriters? I was probably a little different because when I first met Kenny 21 years ago, I was a new artist and wanted to be molded and I had a vision, but he brought it to life. He is my musical husband. He doesn't know that yet, but we've been married for what, 21 years now, Ken? 21, yeah. Yeah, 21 been married years. for a long time. I would like to think that I was the reason. But he was. That he she's, was. you know, that she's magical. It's not me, It's I think it's us. Yeah. We're just supposed to be together. Is this is supposed to be. Forever bound to each other. He's that person for me. see Tony when she's in the concert and, and see the songs and to see how people react to them.
us how you first met Babyface. Oh my God, the first time I met Babyface, this is a true story. Mm -hmm. I went cross country from Maryland mm -hmm. to California and I pretended that I was an artist and I came on Soul Train and I pretended that I was an artist and I was signed to Mercury. I just lied and I made it to the back no. and I was upstairs with me and Bobby Brown and Johnny Gill and Babyface was there, him in LA because Pebbles or someone was performing and I just was sitting there pretending. And you were just a pretty girl in the back that everybody thought was I wasn't even that something. cute, I'm telling you right now. I had you, were, a, you were a little bit cute. No, I had on a black doomy baby booty dress and that's all you needed <laughs> back then. So where was all yeah. up? So you snuck in to Soul Train I did. and you acted as if... I was an artist. I, came, I don't know how I had the courage to do that. You know, when you're young, you, you're not... Right. Afraid and I was pretty excited when I met him. And I remember he was still as cool as his images on television. I swear to God, these are true stories. I need some single men, some single men. Where if your wife says okay, you can come up. Come on, give me some more guys. Come on, 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 guys.
It don't matter what the season is, I still love you, yeah. With all my heart, and I want to be with you forever, wherever. songs actually because I like I got a crush on a girl and I wanted to write a song for her. Was that Rhonda? That was Rhonda, yeah. Did she give you a date after the song? Did the song work? I never played the song for her. I just wrote it. Oh, you did? Okay. No, no. I just wanted to write So you gave it to her on a little note? No. She never knew anything about the song at oh, all. Oh, so she never knew? No, not at all. What you've connected with people most often has has been love, and especially slow jams. I mean, Babyface, you're the, yeah. you know, probably not, probably prophetic that the first song you were involved in was called Slow Jam, right? I mean, that's been such a signature of yours. Yeah. Why do you think? I, I always liked pretty songs. Was growing up, I, would, I picked up the acoustic guitars because I liked the way it sounded, and it just was soft and pretty, and so um, that just kind of came easy for me. Put on your red dress. Slip on them high key And some of that sweet perfume It sure smells good on you Slide on your nightgown And let all your hair down Say, cause baby when we get through I'm gonna show for you Tonight will be a special night No matter
and winking. I see you. See, there goes a Tony riff. Do that one more time. Do it one more time. Do that one more time. Well, you, you want to have a riff contest? Bring it on. What, what, what? What, what, what? You know, love is really about not being selfish and not trying to own anyone. It's trying to let someone be who they should be. You know, in my relationship, it, we didn't end because we hated each other. You know, it wasn't like, I hate you, Jody, I hate you too. It wasn't like that. We were, we were friends. And that made it more difficult to break up, realizing that it's really not working right now. In your life, it's important to, um, to have someone there. I've recently, um, in these past couple of years, lost a lot of people that were important to me. When they passed away, they they were by themselves, even though they were loved by family members. They didn't have that one person that you know that they could look to, that you know could know their thoughts and know how they're feeling. And, um, and I think that uh, I think that everybody should want that. But you have somebody that can share those things with you and somebody you can be mad at or not be mad at. And uh, just for whatever it is, it's, it's, a, um, it's a lonely, it could be a lonely journey. And the journey doesn't have to be that lonely. There's someone out there mm. to have it with. There's someone out there. Babyface always goes back to love because that's his favorite thing to write about. How are you so connected to love? How are you so sensitive to that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I started falling in love when I was like, you know, in kindergarten, so. Did you? Kindergarten? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What did that feel like? It was, uh, it was um, an amazing feeling. It was like this nervousness of seeing this little girl that I was like, just crazy about. And when she'd walk inside the room and um, she'd, you know, have her little pigtails on and walk in, have a little white lace dress that she used to wear. And, and I would just, was just, oh my God. You know, and that was, I remember that feeling in kindergarten. And it got my heart broke then, too. You did? Yes. And so I always had feelings, you know, very early on. There's a lot of artists that we have been involved with in, in part of their careers, but I think that it's safe to say that Tony's the one. Recording this album, Love, Marriage, and Divorce, I had a girl's perspective, and he had a guy's perspective. So that made it a little challenging work. Yeah. Figuring out how to come up with the right concepts. It was, yeah, it was, it was work. Cause, cause she, everything I said, she, no, 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 we should do it this way. And, you know, I was like, initially I was almost kind of fighting her. Cause I said, Tony, this is what I do. I, I do this, Tony. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, but she kept pushing, and, and, and then I stopped and started to listen. Just and like a man, right? No, men don't usually listen. But, uh, <laughs> so, um, so I stopped and, um, and listened, and not to my surprise, but to my amazement, Tony had such good ideas, and it was just, it was just making the record feel so much better. And so we did a few songs, and. I, I felt when I was in love towards the end, it was like a roller coaster. And Kenny said, Oh, I remember that phase. So we're going to sing about it. We, we, we ain't done this. We haven't sung before, this yet. So we trying this. This is, this is all new. It's going to happen on the spot. We have uh, some boo boos. <laughs> Here we go. So if I mess up. I got you. If I mess you up. Got back, you got my back. I got me. your part. There you you go. got my part. I didn't want to 
love nobody else Well, I feel like you do I'm so about done with you I'm sick and tired of going through changes I love you, I hate you I don't want, want to Back and forth and back What should we do? When love is like a roller coaster Always up and down When love takes over your emotions Spins you round and round When you don't When you don't Some things to you, babe. I don't like the way it felt. I've been giving you hell, I've been giving you so much attitude, babe. Ooh, I guess I really just check myself, yeah, babe. Well, you started it first. We said we'd make it work, but here we are going through changes. I need you. What you do? All right, Tony Braxton, that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to get to the truth of this, of this story of who the song, Another Sad Love Song, was, was written for. We're going to get to the bottom. Yes. Who was Another Sad Love Song written for? Actually, Breathe Again. Was it Breathe Again? Okay. It, it could have been both. Was it both? 
Who Maybe was another sad love, love song was written for TLC. See, I knew it was a st okay. Ah, I knew I got the wrong song. You got the wrong song. I yeah. got the wrong yeah. song. So we we, yeah. we clarified. I knew I wasn't crazy. Yeah. That wasn't for me. I was upset about another that. Another sad love song was written for TLC. Uh, Chili was supposed to sing that song. Mm. I have to make my voice deeper when I'm, when I'm talking to Tony Braxton. I gotta, you know, I gotta. Okay, I'll make mine higher. No, 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 don't okay, do that. Okay. That's that's the purr. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. The purr. I'm that's... gonna use that, the purr. Can okay, you use I that? like that. I've, I've always described your voice as, as just having that purr. Uh, thank you, I like it. <laughs> well, when did you know your, you had a special voice? You know, I always knew my voice was a bit androgynous. I learned how to make it work for me, and I remember when my album first came out and um, Elton John told Ellie and Babyface, I love your artist, Tony Braxton, his voice is great. I said, we will tell her <laughs> that you love her voice. Wow. Yeah, my voice is kind of unique. Um, and it wasn't in style though when I was trying to be a singer. When I got in college and got a little bit more independent, I discovered like, hmm, maybe this tone will work for me. Same old. 
told me there'd be trouble at home. We'd never talk a lot when we spend time alone. So how are we supposed to know? Know if something is wrong. Well, we got a way to communicate. It keeps us happy. Let me be myself, and that's important as an artist. Because there's a trust here. There's a trust, yeah. It's always a fun thing to see Tony when she's in the concert and then, and see the songs and to see how people react to them. Um, so I kind of feel like I, I live through her, you know. <laughs> she would be able to be my Dion work. Exactly. Uh, I'll take that. That's you know, cool. I'd be my, I'd be the Burt Bacharach. Exactly. She'd be my Dion. And so that's, that's pretty, you know, Burt, you know, Burt Bacharach's amazing. And, 
And so, so is Dion. And so, you know, people. So is Babyface. So. <laughs> and so is Tony Braxton. Well, thanks. See the effect you have on people? Please don't threaten to retire ever again. I'm never going to do that again. I will never, ever retire again. Promise? I promise. Here we go. Yeah. Damn. Here we go again. Loving you has caused me so much pain. Uh, but you don't see it. You never see it, no. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Thank you. Tony Braxton, ladies and gentlemen.